Hey, no matter what your sport, basketball, football, cross training, or baseball, Reebok's got the shoe and Bob's has more of them. Oh yeah, Bob's has more Reeboks for everyone who loves sports. Bring the ball up to the top. Bring it up to the top. Bob Stores presents Basketball Geno's Way, a great way to learn the game. Hi, I'm Skip Church. Welcome to Basketball Geno's Way. This tape is designed to teach you the basics of the game, from dribbling to passing to shooting to tips that will help you play as a team. Teaching you on this tape will be one of the top coaches in the country. He has turned the UConn women's program into one of the premier programs in the country. And in 1995, he led them to the NCAA championship and a 35-0 record. Here he is, Gino Oriema. Coach? Thanks, Skip. I love basketball, and I love coaching basketball. And I want to take this opportunity to teach you how to be the best basketball player you can be by taking some of the drills that we talk about, by going out and practicing, and I mean really working on your game. I think you'll have the opportunity not to become a great player or an NBA player, but a player that can be as good as you want to be. These drills are going to help you develop your skills to the best of your ability. So take this tape, use it, learn from it, and I guarantee you, if you love basketball, you'll love learning how to be the best you can be. Let's make sure we get in the right position. And the position you want to be in to play good basketball is this position right here. And we call it the basketball position. And in this position, you can dribble the ball, okay? You can pass it, and you can shoot it. All right? You can do all the things you need to do as a basketball player once you've gotten yourself in this position right here. So look at this position, get yourself into it, and remember it next time you have the basketball. Okay, let's start with the basic dribble. First, we want to take the basketball and we want to put it in our hand so that there's some room there between the basketball and your palm. Right? Then you want to bend your knees. Okay, Jenna, you want to try that? Bend your knees. Good. And you want to pass the ball down to the floor. You want your elbow in, you want your hand on top of the basketball, and you want your left hand off and protecting in case the defense tries to steal the ball from you. Okay, let's try that. Dribble with your left hand off, protecting. Okay, slow the dribble down. Keep your hand on top of the ball. You want to slow the dribble down. Okay, keep going, keep going. Slow it down, good. Keep your elbow in tight. Okay, keep your head up. Okay, look right, look left. See where the defense is coming from. Keep the arm off. Switch hands real quick. Put in the left hand. Now get the right arm up and protect. Keep your head moving, okay? All right, and control the ball. Don't let the ball get away from you. Control the ball. Good, good. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the crossover dribble. So Brandy's gonna show us how to cross over. And the reason when you wanna cross over is when you're dribbling the basketball, the defense is coming up to try to take it from you, and you wanna go from right hand to left hand and you want to go quickly and you want to do it hard to take the ball away from the defense, okay? And envision passing the ball to yourself. You're dribbling and you pass it backwards though. That's the key, Brandy. You got to pass it backwards because you don't want to go straight across where my hands are going to be to take it from you, okay? So you want to dribble towards me, head up, see where I am, and you want to make a hard pass to yourself backwards so I can't take it from you. All right, you want to try that? Here we go. Go hard. Go. Cross over. Good. Good. Go back and let's do that again. Now I want you to come at me and then go right by me with a hard pass, quick, with your head up the whole time. Ready? Protect it. Go. Good. That was a really good move. And, and the quickness is what you're looking for here. You want to go up to the defense. Let me show you. 
back up a little bit. You want to go up to the defense and then quickly, you want to do a little better than that though, okay? You want to go up here and quickly go right there. All right, let's try that one more time. Head up, head up, quickly. Good, that's good. Heck, you do it better than I do. All right, that's really a good move. All right, now we're going to take a look at the hesitation dribble. And the hesitation dribble is when you're going full speed, you slow down, give the defense time to stop, and then you go quickly right by them. All right, Christy's going to show us how to do that. And, and what I want you to do is I want you to concentrate on, back up a little bit, I want you to think about dribbling real hard towards me and then stop all of a sudden. Give me a little head and shoulder fake and then go right by me with the right hand. Don't change hands. Make sure you're looking straight ahead. Make sure you allow me the time to stop. Okay? Let's see you try that. Good. That was good. Back up a little bit. Give me the ball. Let me show you one more thing. You're the defense. I'm going to come towards you. I'm going to stop and then I'm going to go forward. Okay? So I'm going to come at you real hard, stop, and then I'm going to go. And what I like to do in that is teach kids just to move their feet a little bit because it makes the defense stop and then you go right by them. All right, so why don't you do that for me? Come at me real hard, give me a little head and shoulders. Good, that was really good. All right, back up. Let's try that one more time. Here, let me get, have the ball. Okay, I'll pass you the ball. You start dribbling. Good, good. And what that does is it freezes the defense and as soon as they stop, then you change direction and go right by them. Now here's some dribbling drills that you can do on your own. Right? Take a basketball and just bend your knees and just push it through your legs right there. Okay? Just dribbling, but now practice not looking at the ball. Okay? Go frontwards, come from the back. Okay? This way. All right? You can do that. You can take two basketballs. All right? Dribble one right hand and one left hand. Remember, keep your head up. You don't want to be looking at the basketball. Move forward. Move backward. Okay? The key is every time you have a basketball in your hand, practice dribbling. When you're walking to the bus stop, bring a basketball with you. You're sitting outside, sit down and dribble the basketball. Go out on your, on your lawn, dribble on the grass. It's real hard when you dribble on the grass because the ball doesn't come back the same way. Practice dribbling all the time, you'll become a better ball handler. All right, now we're going to take a look at the chest pass. It's a very important pass for youngsters to learn. Lindsay and I are going to show you the proper technique in throwing the chest pass. Okay? First, you want to hold the basketball similar as you would when we were dribbling the basketball. Okay? Hands both sides, thumbs facing together. All right? And when you pass, you want to stretch out your arms. Pass, and you want the palms of your hands facing out with your thumbs pointing down. Okay, Lindsay? Here. Just like that. And you want the ball to spin backwards. Good. Nice straight pass with lots of spin on it. And the last thing you want to do is you want to step towards the person that you're passing towards. Right there. Step towards me. Good. Palms out. Thumbs down. Okay? That's the correct way to throw a chest pass. Now let's take a look at the bounce pass. And that's an important pass for you to learn because it's important for you to throw a good bounce pass on the break and passing into the post, okay? Jenna and I are going to practice throwing really good bounce passes, holding the ball the same way we did on the chest pass, hands apart, thumbs together, stepping towards the person we want to pass to, and passing it at a distance halfway between me and the person I'm passing to, so it rises right up to here where I can catch it. Okay, Jenna? Here we go. Pass, and now my palms are facing out just like I did on the chest pass. Step, good. Get the palms out, pass into the floor. Good, good pass. Get some backspin on it, all right, so that the ball comes right up to here. Good. Step and pass, all right, palms out, take your time. Good, and make a good, strong pass, all right, and that will help you in the break and in half court offense. An important but difficult pass to throw is the baseball pass. Okay? You use it against the press and you use it on the fast break. Brandy and I are going to demonstrate for you. Okay? Brandy, I want you to take the basketball, keep your right foot still, all right? step with your left, 
and then pass the ball. And don't let your right foot come up until after you've released the basketball. All right, so step towards me. Good, all right, that's pretty good. I want you to take a big step with the left and pass the basketball. One more time. Good. Work on your ball handling. Take the basketball, just go around your body like this. Go between your legs, okay? Do these things with your hands. Your fingers will get stronger. Learn how to pass the ball to yourself. Learn how to catch it, right? Learn how to pivot after you catch it. Get in that position, okay? Dribble back, pass it to yourself. Jump stop, all right? Work on your pivot moves, all right? All these things done by yourself when you only have a little room to work with are gonna make you a better basketball player. Now we're gonna take a look at shooting and shooting fundamentals. It's, it's a very difficult thing to learn, yet I think if you use the proper mechanics, you can develop the proper shooting form. Christy's gonna show you right now the proper setup and the proper release. The right foot's gonna go forward if you're right-handed. The ball's gonna be in the position like it was when you were passing the ball. Your elbow is going to be below the basketball, not outside of it, not inside of it, just underneath the ball. And your left hand will be on the side as a guide hand. Your feet, your elbow, your hands in that position right there. And then the follow through will look like that. Okay? You will extend your arm completely and you'll snap your wrist down. All right? So that's what we're gonna to try to do with Christy right now. We're gonna set up, right foot forward, okay? And follow through. Good, good, that's a good shot. Get the, get the ball set, your elbow underneath the ball, hand on the side, okay? Right foot forward, and now push up and follow through. That's excellent. Now we're gonna take a look at the layup. And the layup is the simplest of all the shots, yet I see so many mistakes made. And mostly it has to do with where you go into the lane to shoot it and how you shoot it when you get there. All right, Lindsay's gonna take the basketball. She's gonna start on the proper angle, number one. I think anytime you're going to the basket, you wanna be coming on a 45 degree angle that takes you right towards the backboard. You always want to use the backboard on your layups. Okay? And you want to be dribbling the basketball and enter the lane above the lower block here. Enter the lane in the lower block. If you're right-handed with a right-hand layup, plant your left foot and go straight up okay? and high jump and try to put the ball inside the square that's on top of the rim. Okay? That's what Lindsay's going to try to do. Keep your head up, enter above the block, plant your left foot, drive your right knee up, and lay the ball in. Go ahead. Excellent, excellent. Come on back and do that again. Good. Drive it in there, high jump, and lay the ball up. Go ahead. Terrific. That's a great shot. I think if you remember to do that, come in on a 45 degree angle, plant your left foot, go up, drive your right knee, high jump, see the ball going in, I think you'll make most of your laps. Now let's take a look at free throw shooting. Free throw shooting is exactly what it says. They're free throws, all right? And if you take your time and practice those, those are easy points. All right, we're gonna take a look at the setup that we wanna use, all right? And Jenna, I'm gonna show you, if you just step over here for a second. All right, the setup that you wanna use is you wanna line yourself up with the front of the rim. Again, if you're right-handed, right foot forward, knees bent, and have a routine. If you take four dribbles, take four dribbles. Keep your knees bent, just like in the jump shot. Elbow below the ball, ball off of your palm, and then you wanna concentrate on setting it right there, and then push up with your feet, through your legs, and follow through. And pretend that you're putting your hand inside the basket. And I wanna see you hold that follow through long after the ball leaves your hand. Okay, get your set up, take your routine, your dribbles, your setup, hold it right there. That's good, okay? The ball's not on your palm, all right? Left hand on the side, not too heavy, all right? 
That's pretty good. Start all over again. Let me see you do that. Ready? Here we go. Set up. Good. Get the ball set. Ready to shoot. Here we go. Good. If you don't have a basket and you want to practice shooting, here's a little drill that you can do. Take the ball, work on your ball position right there, okay? And then practice this shot. Straight up, straight down. See if you can make the ball come down in the same position where it left so you don't have to move your hand. And listen to the sound. See that thump? See? That's different than this. Smack. That means the ball is coming on your palm. You don't want that. You want the ball right there. Okay? Practice that and you'll have the proper mechanics for the follow through that is so important in being a terrific shooter. All right, now we're going to talk about playing defense, defensive footwork, and how to guard someone when they have the ball. Okay? Jenna and Lindsay here are going to demonstrate. Lindsay's going to be on offense. Jenna's going to be on defense. The most important thing in defense when you're guarding someone with the ball is the defensive stance. Okay? Just getting a good defensive stance, Jenna. Good. You notice her feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Okay? Her back is relatively straight. All right. Her hands are out away from her body. Spread your fingers out. Her palms are up. All right. Almost like you're going to you're a, a fighter, okay? You want to be ready to defend, all right? Knock passes down. You want to be ready to steal it, all right? When they throw it to a, to a teammate. All right. And you notice that Jenna has her left foot up and her right foot back. She's trying to make Lindsay go to her left, okay? You don't want to play them straight up. You want to be able to make them go one way or the other. All right? And as Lindsay starts to move, now she's not going to dribble. Ready? As Lindsay starts to move, Jenna starts to slide her feet. See that? You don't let your feet touch. Now, if Lindsay changes direction, Jenna just drops steps and moves in the other direction. Okay? Stay right there. Come on back a little bit. All right? Let's go back and start over again. All right? The one thing that Jenna did, step over here, Jenna, is she never moved her feet this way where her feet start to get tangled up. You want to keep your feet nice and wide and move this way. Okay? That's how you want to play defense when you're guarding someone on the ball. Let's do it one more time. Okay? You start right there. Lindsay starts to move. Jenna moves her feet. Lindsay starts to go the other way. She moves her feet. Good. Stay right there. All right? Now, let's do it one more time, and this time, Lindsay will dribble the basketball real quick. Ready, Lindsay? Try to dribble the ball. Good. Now change direction. Good. Good. Hold it right there. Good. And that's the way you want to play defense when you're guarding someone on the basketball. The next phase of our defense is denying the pass. How do we keep the offense from passing the ball to start their offense? Okay? Christy and Brandy are going to show us now denying the entry pass in the offense. We want to start with the same defensive stance we had earlier. Okay? Knees bent, feet about shoulder width apart. Okay? You want your left arm, in this instance, in the passing lane. Okay? This is a passing lane. The ball is going to go from here to Christy and we want you to try to knock the pass down or steal it. So we want the palm facing out, okay? We want you to be able to stay one step ahead of Christy, okay? There you go, right there. We want the other arm right here. We don't want to be pushing or holding, all right? And we want to look straight ahead so we can see Christy and we can see where the ball is. That means you have to look out of the corner of your eye, but you must always know where the ball is. Can you see the ball, Brandy? Good. All right, stay in your stance. All right. Now, as Christy tries to move, Brandy moves with her. Good. See how she moves with her? Good. There you go. Back again. Good. Move real hard. Now, do you notice how Brandy hasn't moved her head? She's not turned her head to look and see where Christy is and then loses sight of the ball. Nor has she turned to see where the ball is and loses sight of Christy. She looks straight ahead, looks at the ball through the corner of her eye, and looks at Christy, her man, through the corner of her eye. Okay, let's do that one more time, real quick. Ready? Get open, Christy. Back again. Good, good, real good. Okay? That's called denying the entry pass. All right? And that's the way you want to play defense. All right, the next thing is help defense. What happens when you're guarding someone away from the ball and you have to help a teammate who's been beaten with the dribble? Okay? 
in this setup here, we're going to give Lindsay the ball. She's being guarded, okay? And what's going to happen is Brandy is guarding Christy. Lindsay's going to beat her defender off the dribble, and Brandy's responsibility is to run quickly and step outside the lane to stop the ball handler from penetrating any further. The person who was beat on the dribble now has to run and pick up the next man who was left open when Brandy helped. So what this is, is Brandy's going to help Jenna, and then Jenna's going to help Brandy. And that's what help defense is all about. OK, here we go. Ready, Lindsay? Set, go. There goes the dribble. She got beat. Brandy comes and helps. She tries to make the pass. Jenna makes the steal. OK, let's try that one more time. All right, real quick. Ready? There's the dribble. She yells, help, help. Good. And that's terrific. And that's called help defense. You help your teammate who helped you. Playing good defense doesn't necessarily mean you have to have an offensive player with you. You can work on being a better defensive player by yourself. Here's some drills that I give my team to work on. One, put your feet together, hands over your head, and try to go back and forth over this line as quickly as you can, okay? In that manner. You try to do that for 30 seconds. Then maybe put them in a scissors position and do the same thing. You're trying to get quick feet, okay? Now, get in the defensive stance, all right? Count to yourself at the count of three. One, two, three. Move your feet real quick up and down. You're trying to get quick feet. You're trying to get quick reactions. Then, then try to get yourself to do this. Turn right and come back. Turn left and come back. Right? Just you want to be quick. You want to think quickly, move quickly, react quickly. That's what being a good defensive player is all about. Part of being a good defensive player is being able to rebound the basketball. Rebounding takes heart, takes hustle, and a lot of hard work. But you have to know the right way to do it. All right, we're going to go over right now. Christy's going to play defense. Brandy's going to be on offense. We're going to show you the proper technique to box out and to rebound the basketball. All right? I'm going to take the basketball, put it right over here. Christy, I want you to be in a defensive position. Good. And as the shot goes up, Brandy's going to move to go offensive rebound the ball. As Brandy moves, let's say Brandy comes in this direction, you want to step across your body, good. Get the hands up over your shoulders, elbows even with your shoulders, hands up, palms ready to catch the ball, eyes up on the rim. Feet spread wider than shoulder width, and you want to be able to sit down on the offensive player's thighs so they can't jump up and get the rebound, okay? The hands are up, if Brandy tries to move, you slide with her. Don't look at her. You want to be looking for the ball. Brandy moves. Okay. All right, Brandy, go a little bit right, left. Good. A little bit more to the right. Good. And that's, what, that's the position you want to hold when you rebound the ball. All right, let's try it now with the basketball. Ready? You're playing defense. There's Brandy on offense. All right. Here comes the shot. And you go get the basketball. Good. All right. Let's try one more time. I don't want the ball to hit the floor this time. Get your hands up and go get the basketball. Ready? Here comes the shot. Go get it, go get it, good, all right? And the way you want to go rebound the ball is you want to go up and get it and come down with your feet wide, elbows out, and the ball in front of your face so you can protect it. You don't want it down here where little people like Jen Rosati can come and steal it, okay? Ready? I'm going to shoot the ball. You box out. Go get the basketball. Here it goes. Ready? Shot. Get it, Christy. Good. Hold it right there. Good. That's the way you want to rebound the basketball. You know, part of being a good rebounder is making sure you have the mentality to go after every shot, okay? One way you practice that is throw the ball up off the basket, go up and get it. Now, what happens after you get it? Bring it in towards your face, not down here where they're going to take it and not up here where you're going to lose it. Bring it right to here, protect it, elbows out, and now be ready to pivot. Step and make the pass or be ready to dribble out of there real hard. Okay, I think that's the key to being a good rebounder. Go after every missed shot. Now we're going to talk about fast break basketball. Rebound, outlet, get the ball to the middle, and let's get into the fast break. All right? Here we want to throw the ball off the glass. Brandy rebounds it, turns, makes a good outlet, hit the middle man, 
Dribble up the floor, head up, hit the wing, go up for a layup. Terrific. Good job. Come on back, girls. That's the way to run the floor. Remember, the keys on the fast break are this. Make a good outlet pass, get the ball to the center of the floor, stay wide when you're running the lanes, and make sure the rebounder is a trailer. Working on the fast break, practicing fast break jump shots, dribbling on the break. These are things you can do on your own. Right? Speed dribble and stop for a jump shot. Push the ball out in front of you, come to a complete stop, and go up and shoot the jump shot. That'll help you shoot jump shots on the break. How about dribbling on the break? Dribble real hard, stop, hesitation dribble. All these things you can do. Start at half court, go hard, change your pace, change your direction, okay? Right hand, left hand, pull up, go right into your jump shot. Learn to shoot off the dribble and you'll become really good in the fast break situation. Winning basketball games involves scoring points. The best way to score points, play together. Be a good passer, understand when it's your turn to shoot, understand how to fill the lanes on the break, understand how to rebound the basketball and stick it back up. That's how you win championships. That's how you become an excellent player. Be a team offensive player. You know, a very popular move today is setting a screen on the person with the, with the ball. Using the screen and setting the screen are very important. All right, we're going to go over that real quick. We're going to give Lindsay the basketball. She's being guarded tight. Right. Her teammate now is going to come up. Christy's going to set the screen. Now, in setting a screen on the ball, you want to be able to give your teammate a chance to use the screen. And at the same time, you don't want to commit an offensive foul. So you don't want to come and hit the defensive player. You want to stop about a foot from the defense, okay? And you want to have your knees bent, your feet wider than shoulder width, and your arms in front of your chest to protect yourself. Okay? And you don't want to move. You don't want to lean right or lean left or push your elbows out. Stay in tight, just like that. And the offensive player's job now is to run the defensive player right into the screen and turn the corner and go to the basket. Okay? Ready? Let's start that again. Here goes. Ready? There's the screen. There's the roll right there. Beautiful. Okay? Remember, don't make contact when you set the screen. Give them a little bit of room. Don't move once you're set and let the offensive player do all the work. An important part of any offensive player's repertoire is a shot fake. How do you get the defense off of you and then still get your shot off? Okay? Christy's going to go through a shot fake. How to take the basketball, bring it up, get the defense away from you, and then stop and shoot the jump shot. All right? Christy takes the ball, shot fake, one dribble, shoots the ball. Perfect. Okay? Let's look at that one more time. She's going to take the basketball, bring it up to her face. Notice she's not going to move her feet, so there's not going to be a walking call. And then she's going to take a hard dribble and then a jump shot. Ready, Christy? Catch, shot fake, one dribble, and a shot. Terrific. Okay? The shot fake. Make sure that the ball comes up to your face. Don't move your feet so you're not called for walking. A hard dribble and then a jump shot. You work on that and you'll get a lot of shots. Now, now that you've seen the tape, you've seen the drills, something should be quite obvious to you. Good players are not born, they're made. You've got to go out and work hard to be a good player. I think you can become a better player than you are simply by taking this tape, going through the drills, practicing them over and over and over again. Have a passion for the game. Play it every day. Practice it every chance you get. You may not become the best player in the country. You may not become an All-American or an Olympic type player. But guess what? If you work real hard at it, maybe someday I'll get a chance to coach you. Bob Stores has presented Basketball Geno's Way, a great way to learn the game.